Hi, I'm Jackie from So Bright Creations, and I really wanted to get my daughter a bookshelf like this, but I didn't love the price. So I did what any DIYer would do, and I made my own. Here's a peek at what it looks like, and I'm gonna show you how you can make your own. I used the lid from a small canning jar to trace circles on some leftover wallboard. It's one quarter inch MDF. You could use any type of similar MDF or wood. I started out by using a jigsaw to go all the way around the scallops or circles, but I found it a diff difficult going this direction just with how I had the board clamped and how I was working. I found it a lot easier to just go in one direction and do one side of the circles and then I flipped it over, clamped it again, clamping is really important, and I did the other side of the circles. Okay, I measured this at 32 and a half inches, and then I'm going to cut two pieces of one by four to 32 and a half inches each. Start by trimming the edge. I'm going to sand them now. Before sanding, I used a sharp knife to clean out the areas between the circles, and this worked really well. Mr. Sobright got me these attachments for the multi-tool. There we go. The right speed here. Okay, it seems to be working. You can see these are the ones that are done versus ones that are not done. You can see how it's not very round in there. I just started sanding the top and I realized the brick is coming off. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of the white because I'm gonna prime it anyways. I used a Craig Drag to drill four holes to connect the 1x4s together and then I screwed it and used wood glue. One of the 1x4s was a little bit warped so that's also why I wanted to use screws and not a brad nail to secure it so I could straighten it out and it worked really well. I used wood filler to fill the nail holes and then once it dried, I sanded it off nice and smooth. I wiped clean with a tack rag and then gave it a coat of primer. Okay, I'm back with the shelf. It's primed. Just gave it a really light sand. I'm gonna wipe it down and then we're gonna do a coat of white paint. I use the same white paint for all of the white things in my house, except for the ceiling, obviously, is flat ceiling paint. The primer covered really well, so I ended up only doing one coat of white paint, and that was enough. You could also use a foam roller to finish the flat surfaces. We secured it directly into the studs and then covered the screw with a white screw cover. I absolutely love how it turned out. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and if you're going to give this DIY a try. I think it's well worth it. Stay tuned for the next video where I show you how to make a giant rainbow.